Heidelberg, Germany, the Department of Pharmacology at Cell Networks. A group of scientists concentrates on the understanding of pathological forms of pain, hoping to open up ways for future therapies. At the lab of Professor Siemens Temperature Detection and Thermoregulation, the scientists use the calcium imaging method and fluorescent microscopy to explore the concentration of calcium in living cells. TRPV1 is an ionic channel in sensory nerve cells. It's responsible for the perception of different noxious stimuli. The more intense the stimulations of TRPV1, the higher the throughput of calcium ions. The concentration varies depending on how much TRPV1 is stimulated. An exaggeration of nerve signals is indicated by an intensive glowing of calcium ions. The sensitization of TRPV1 is like a car that cannot stop. <laughs> Right from the start, the paint car is ahead of them all, flying over the tracks. One round after the other, there is no way of stopping it. How long can this last? This is a terrible strain on the car and the driver. The driver has lost control, the car is unleashed and there's no way to stop it. Some researchers had the idea to reduce the pain by directly blocking trip V1, with some surprising results. But what's this? Apparently, a roadblock is the only way to stop the pain car. But it will not slow down. Blocking trip V1 directly was successful and the pain was reduced. However, it also had some severe side effects. Apparently, trip V1 also plays a role in thermoregulation, so the patient's overheated. The wheels won't stop turning. They're becoming dangerously hot. I'm afraid it won't be long until it heats up so badly it will explode. Because blocking trip V1 directly did not work out, we tried to look for an alternative. This is how we found GABA B1, which is a protein that adapts with trip V1 and binds GABA and thereby reduces the trip V1 activation. Here comes GABA B1. This is promising. GABA B1 is catching up fast and it seems that it can gradually slow down TRPV1. Basic research that leads to further insights in the mechanism of chronic pain.